All right, welcome back to another video. Guys, today we're gonna to talk about pull-ups versus chin-ups. Which one is better for you? Which muscles do they work? Which one should you do? So, give this video a like, share, wait till the end and you'll see, see the answer. Okay. Just kidding, you don't have to wait to the end of the video. The answer is it doesn't matter. Uh, for the most part, the articles I've read that have tested different muscles being worked during the pull-up dependent on grip indicate that it doesn't depend on grip. Um, the most recent one, which I'll link to in the, in the description, so you can read the full science article if you want to there, uh, they tested the pecs, biceps, the upper traps, or the traps, the um, lats, and the forearms. And all of the grips that they tested, which were four, they tested pronated, supinated, um, neutral, and rope pull-ups. And all four of them showed roughly the equivalent, statistically, in, statistically insignificant difference between the grips and whether or not they would help in muscle development. All of them will help in muscle development. So that leaves you with, uh, barring one thing actually, the uh, pronated grip works the middle trap muscles the most. Um, but that does bring you to the conclusion of which one should you do. Personally, I think you should do the one that you feel most comfortable with and that you like the best. Exercise is about in, enjoying yourself. Um, afterward usually uh, I mean if you do the exercises do them right you know do switch your grips me personally I do five sets of, of pull-ups uh, in my program and the five sets that I do three of them are pronated and two of them are supinated I just switch one three five is pronated and two and four are supinated and I do that just be just for variation and for fun and because my back is uh, need some more development. The point is, is that you do whatever is whatever you're gonna do. Whatever exercises you're going to do. If you're not gonna do pull-ups at all, then don't even worry about this video and move on to something else that you're going to do. You wanna go for a walk, go for a walk. But whatever you do, push yourself beyond your normal limit. You know, it, it's not supposed to, it's not supposed to be horrible, but it's supposed to suck a little. You know, that's the only way you're going to get any growth or development out of it is if your exercises suck just a little bit anyways, you know, because then you, they build and your muscles grow and your, your cardiovascular system gets stronger and your body gets better. And that's the whole point to exercise is to improve yourself. So embrace the suck, go out and do some exercises, whatever exercises you're going to do, even if it's just squatting down into a chair and standing up five times, because that's the most you can do or get under a heavy bar and lift, especially if you're over 40. If you're over 40, you definitely need to be exercising. You definitely need to be moving more. We've been raised, you know, being fairly idle and life gets easier and easier and we stay more and more idle. So get active and do something that makes you, you know, happy and that you can, you can push yourself in to a point of being uncomfortable to where it sucks a little bit and you get used to it and you can push yourself a little bit more. All right, guys, take it easy. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment down below, like the video, and uh, share with anyone that you feel needs to needs to hear this or the one that you want to share it with. Thanks. Bye.